Mr. Dick Masterson, how you doing, sir? Oh, you have to unmute yourself. So I unmute you, and then you also. What yeah, up? Yeah. What's what up, man? Up? Cozy TV. What's America up? America first is inevitable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they should have known. Now, what do you think about all this? I know you've been following it. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that's the that's the worst of whatever that is I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this has been the funniest. I haven't laughed this hard or been so riveted to my phone since the since the Tonka debacle. Honestly, oh, and they just don't know how to honestly, what makes it even worse. Of course, you know, I think everybody knows I faced a bit of adversity over the years or what have you. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, what but Godwinson's <laughs> right. Like Godwinson's, you know, I've said this since I've said this since the pill stream, whatever Ralph does, whatever Ralph does, he's just so entertaining that you can't stop watching. Like he's just that entertaining. Like you do a good show every night. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to uh, constantly beat up on – you don't need to constantly make shit up to well, put on good content. Well, their whole thing is just – it's not even, oh, satire or – oh, here, I'll let this talk for a second. Anthony sent $3. Their meltdown is happening faster than I thought. Beautiful to watch. Well, you know, I originally called August for when I thought that this whole thing would go up in smoke. And then I, then they had, a you know, a big run, and, and that was bullshit, but they were getting views and, and a lot of – you know, a lot of buzz, and I was like, okay, well, maybe they'll stretch it out further. But I think August uh, might have been actually right on the money. But what makes it so entertaining for me is they clearly have no idea how to respond to Gawinson at all. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Do like, we have time to get those felted hats? <laughs> buy one of their hats. <laughs> I might start making them and sell them myself, actually, now that you mention it. Uh, <laughs> Gunted hats, the same font and everything. Gunted. Go, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh it's man! Too, you know what's funny, man? This like, is my second uh, sex with... tape. Fucking the Kino Casino here on there. Uh, so... <laughs> I think. <laughs> go ahead. I think I'm pretty sure that I came up with punt the gun after your pill stream. I said you can't punt the gun, so it's yeah. fun to see it still floating around. <laughs> um, I I am just I am floored that. Uh, by the way, I didn't. I didn't even know this that NP two controversy was still floating around. Uh, I saw Godwin Godwinson talking about it. I'm like, what is this video from two years ago? But it was from it was the one that you played a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm sure that PPP is the guy who was so upset that I somehow had uh, financial malfeasance or leverage over people, and that this was influencing them, and this was very bad. But now PPP is running all of his donations through a Russian website or one owned mm. by Baked Alaska, whom he accuses of being a federal informant. Do I have this right? That's correct. I'm, yeah. I don't. No, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> I mean, this like their resistance, Andy and PPP's res. I, and I, I think those guys are funny. I just want to say I, they totally fucked this up. But I, I did. I did think they were funny. I liked Andy before he started calling me a pedophile every time my name came up, which baffles me. Uh, their their uh, aversion to even mentioning what people in the chat are talking about, I have not seen since, like, Maddox Tonka days. They just ignored it completely. Uh, it's shocking. Well, you know you can't do that, man. Like, you've been around a minute, too. Like... Even if you do, you have to shift course during the middle of the show is what you have to do. Like if you had the plan yeah. to do that, you have to change it. It's like, uh, you know, I know I relate everything to professional wrestling or whatever, but, uh, you know, sometimes you, you hear the wrestlers talk and they had a plan for the match or, or a way they wanted to go and the crowd just wasn't responding to it. Right. So they, they shifted, they, they did something a little bit different. They called an audible on the fly to use a football terminology. Like you have to change the play. Like this is not working and it's just, it's making you look worse and worse and ends up with PPP dry hunting. Pumping Worski on air, you know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> right, like it just got worse and worse, right? All they had to do was made up donations. Oh, we got yeah. a million dollar donation from uh, Barack Obama. He sent in a. <laughs> I bet Ralph's seething. I'm literally sitting here. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. I'm on air watching it. Ralph's raging. We've got like... footage of Ralph eating a sandwich. Next, look at how he is seethingly eating this sandwich. Oh my goodness. It's just so, so bogus. Bad. And then honestly, they they already started digging a hole with the fake news stuff. You know what I mean? Like their their top stories being yeah. just fake, right? And again, 
you know, there's there's things like so the whole Ian Miles Chong thing. I don't know if people know this or not, but Ian Miles Chong did not actually blow up a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen, right? Uh, that was a former friend of mine who was on air and was riffing and made up this whole flashbang thing. And if you watch it, it's clear that it's bullshit. Now, people did start fucking with him and ran with that story. But, like, my whole, like, that wasn't the lead story of the night. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't make that a focal point. It was a joke from, like, a side joke, basically, from my show. We weren't running that as if it was breaking news. You know, oh, my God, we got him. Uh, and I think they've just fallen into that trap because it can work, you know, a couple of times like, oh yeah. yeah, you know, people are laughing. Let's just make up whatever we want. But you go to that well too often and it just doesn't work. Yeah. You bullshit too much. You become bullshit. Like right. Uh, I mean, I always try to keep that in mind. You just, you can't be, you can't be an internet like shit talker and then just shut it off when it comes your way. I mean, everybody has a problem. Every, everybody, a lot of people don't like you, but you always respond to what people are saying when you were legally allowed to. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> caveat. Small caveat. They just, they just checked out, man. They should. They should have just not done a show. But what it was, three hours of tomatoes is one of the funniest things I've ever seen on the internet. I don't know, Godwinson, if you're still listening, uh, I also le- I lend you my bow, sir. <laughs> Along with the, the sword, whatever you want. Uh, that was God. What a what a fucking lunatic! I've no called into my show a couple years ago and said that he liked Godwinson. I'd never heard of the guy before, and I've never seen any of his content before this one. Because uh, I, I usually I just don't know what the fuck anyone's talking about. Right. Like Klimklom has a was looking at Glebe glue, and they did a thing. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I get it. I get it. That guy, that motherfucker, sitting in front of his horse paintings. That's what I couldn't. <laughs> Literally, Ugh. secretariat on the wall that behind him. I'm like, what is going on? Um, but you know what? I said the same thing you did uh, last night when we were watching through. It's like, if you're going to take this strategy, first off, um, you can ignore stuff um, if it's from the outside, right? If it's, if it's a, like, I don't. I usually address everything, right? But you can ignore yeah. it if it's from critics or if it's from people trying to throw shit from the outside. But when it's your own fan base demanding you address something you can't get away from that and then if they were going to take that strategy they should have just taken a week off maybe even two weeks off and then came back and said look and they could have still they could have just said this look we talked behind the scenes of course there was some drama we just wanted to take a couple weeks off retool everything they would have came back and it would have been a completely different reception uh and they decided not to do that now i mean i understand you know you want to put on a show it's your living or whatever believe me i know but that was just the, a bad call going on air with that last night. But you can you can pump the brakes on the financial component a little bit. Like those Godwin sins. Like it seems to me that s- some people have a big concern about like grifting and selling out, which I obviously don't. But whatever. <laughs> uh, they came in as hard as they could with the, looking for donations. Like here's a shitty hat that we're selling, yeah. and here's a thousand dollars. Make sure you get the money up there. Like man, that came off. It really bad. It's just um, not a good look. Against what Godwin was saying. Yeah, like they leaned into it in the <laughs> exact wrong direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just to lean away, not <laughs> not into the bullets. Like I was like, holy fuck. Um, and I know, I guess they think it's comedy or whatever. Um, but you know, what would have worked? Yeah, what would have worked three or four weeks that ago? Was the worst. Was that was worked. the worst smuggling I've ever seen in my life. I. I, I mean, it was funny though. Like, I, of all the people that were ignoring it, they have to think it was Medicare would have to think that's funny. Watching those guys floundering while well, you would think he million, had to be like, six million tomatoes were flying in the chats. I mean, the you would, six million tomatoes. <laughs> you would think. I mean, obvi- obviously, he has to. Be, he won't say that publicly, but he has to be laughing at it. I won't uh, delve into my full yeah. thoughts there, but it's uh, like, I mean, if this had happened to me, obviously, we know. <laughs> We Brad, know. It did happen to you. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. This did happen to you, okay? Yeah, and but I just not, rode through it. So like, Worski is, fine. Worski is weak, though, <laughs> mentally. I've said this. Like, this guy is not... He's not built. He's not built for this, really. Like you can see him. He, he's snapping at people. Um, I don't know. I just. I just don't think yeah. there's much longevity in this for him. Uh, PPSP's glasses were so foggy with sweat <laughs> that he looked like an ice road trucker. It was, it was like <laughs> those guys were sweating so much. His glasses had turned white. 
It was crazy. It was pretty bad. Now, let me see. Also, PPP, what is... Did you see this pose? I don't know if you can see this. Uh, mm. The whole Job of the Hut vibe. I, I, I don't know. You, no. When he decided to recline on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bigger than the well, couch okay, itself my, yeah. let me tell me what you think about this because i got a little theory about this sure. i've been uh i've seen a lot of these instances where guys just start ignoring their chat and like thinking that they're entitled for chat to give them the benefit of the doubt basically and for everyone to do it and it all seems to it all seems to stem from this uh this image that they have of themselves where that they've made it and like when when Keem brought Andy into that fight, and there's these guys are starting to get retweeted by blue checks, like Lauren Southern's giving them attention and stuff. I think they think that they have made it. So getting called out by some someone that they see as like lower class, lower status than them, like Godwinson, is just it doesn't fit with their mental self image. That's my that's my take on it. I don't know what you think about no, that or what you chat think. I think but. that's right. They thought they had reached a level to where they were beyond and they could do what they wanted and, and respond in, in their own way. Well, I got news for you. You never reached that level. <laughs> uh, maybe Nobody, a Tucker. Yeah. yeah, as I say, even yeah. a Tucker Carlson, I was about to say maybe a Tucker, but even he has things he has to consider and his audience and advertisers and stuff like that. You really don't ever get to that level. Maybe a Trump or something, you know what I mean? Like that, but like... You just don't ever get there. You can't have that type of attitude. Well, Trump lost a lot of his users with yeah. the COVID shit, with the vaccine stuff, for doing the same kind of thing. Like, I'm beyond reproach. Take the vaccine. It's great. I'm like, no, man, fuck you. Um. Anyway. No, I think you're right. And um, and you watch, and it was like, I don't know. I, they just, I guess maybe they underestimated, too, the blowback. But the whole, we're not going to address it when you're a drama show. <laughs> Like, yeah. that's not going to work. I mean, now you've seen me. I've taken a, I've actually shifted. I used to try to ignore something. Now I would still address here and there, obviously, but not lean into it like I have the last six months. Well, I just decided to make this a, a featured part of my content. It's like, okay, fine. I'll just go through and start shitting on these people every day. I'll look at these crazy <laughs> fuckers, right? Like, I mean, it's content for me too, right? Yeah. Uh, but you yeah, I'm I, I love the gunt hunt. Like trying to find. I wish they could like. I wish they could pay to guess. Like I wish it cost like a hundred, a thousand bucks to guess. And it was like, no, that's not where I live. Give me that money. Well, now they're camped out outside my grandparents' old house, which I'm not at. I hate to give them a spoiler alert, but. <laughs> You would say that if you were there. Right? No, exactly. There's no way to know. <laughs> That's right. They're looking. They're literally going through my uncle's property, who's a very successful guy, going through his properties. And one of them happens to be my grandparents' old house, and they're, like, camped out around West Memphis where I used to live and all this shit. Like, it's literally psycho shit. I mean, I riled them up on purpose. Like, I wanted them to do that uh, because it gives me another storyline for my show. Uh, and they're still not going to find me. So shout out to the fuckers looking for me right now. <laughs> I mean, I think that's funny, though. Um, I saw some people and they're oh, yeah. like, Ralph riled him up. And what if he would have just moved without saying anything? Nobody would get upset. It's like, yeah, no, I wanted you to get upset. You're fucking psychos. Like, I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't know what to yeah, say. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Like yeah. someone sh someone shows up to your house and kills you. Like, OK, well, you know. well, fuck it. I mean, <laughs> this shit sucks anyway. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do. I do want to clear the record if I sure. can. So Go I was ahead. watching this Godwin Sid thing, and he's talking about mm. NP two, New Project Two, which there'll be a there'll be a New Project Two two coming out directly or soon. Um, that will hopefully solve a lot of Godwinson's concerns. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to feel like I haven't addressed Godwinson's concerns after seeing what sure. he can do to people. Um, <clears throat> Godwinson played the clip of me calling my own house the Barbie Dream Mansion, mm. which has always annoyed me because I, I, I want to be clear. It is not the, the first thing that you should think when you hear Barbie Dream Mansion is that it's a toy. <laughs> it is ch cheap, plastic, b b too big. Uh, but but you're paying. I, I don't know how much they're caught. You're paying way too much for this. Um, what is uh, what is ostensibly not not worth it? Uh, it's not a crack shack either. Well, hold on one second, one second, one second, one second. Dollars, love you, go Dick ahead, and Ralph. Go ahead. Fuck Andy. Fuck PPP. Fuck all these faggots. I don't know that word. As always, <laughs> fuck John McCain too. <laughs> I agree. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't uh, say Barbie Dream Mansion as a like thing that's pumping up your own shit. Like you're making fun of your own stuff. <laughs> 
mansion is 8,000 square feet. It's not, it's not whatever you think. I, it's, <sighs> apparently, this was a big debate. A mansion is 8,000 square feet, period. A Barbie dream mansion is a, a, a tiny little uh, two-bedroom shack shoved into the hill that I have to pay $1.5 million <laughs> for, okay? It's a big difference. It's a big difference. It's still better than where PPP lives. That's the point. Even this house that, that is a financial rapery of me is still better than where he lives. Uh, uh, anyway, I just wanted to clear that up for Godwinson. Well, also, well, also they show your... <laughs> They show you, of course, I've been in your house. We did a whole week of shows there one time a couple of years ago. That ill, actually, that was one of my favorite week of shows, but uh, it does seem like another time now. Uh, <laughs> but you look, you look at his house, they showed your house, like the crack shack. Well, I mean, there's a whole nother house, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's like, it's built into the hill, basically, like there's shit under, underneath and a, and a deck and all this shit. I don't know. Sorry. I hate to yeah, explain I mean, LA. Like, but. It's, yeah, it's not. <laughs> It's not the size. It's not. I'm not very proud of it. Okay, but it, that's what it costs to live here. I'm glad you cleared that no up. To live, no one except a little girl wants to live in a Barbie dream mansion. I don't know why this is. I'm sorry for not being literal. It's just how I talk. I don't like to talk literally. It's boring. Also, I'm I'm glad that the police didn't kill you this past weekend with the with the swatting. Um, oh, thank you. Now, I saw thank you put you. a tweet out. and You said something about, have you talked to the police since then? I saw you put a tweet out yesterday. Oh, man. <laughs> they're so pissed. They're <laughs> so pissed that they got, that they look dumb. Like, they're, they are, they are infinitely more upset about this We need a deep dive slash lore stream on Klimplum and Gleek Luton. Such legends. Sorry. Can't believe Dick hasn't heard of them. Okay, I'll play that again in a second. Go ahead. Repeat what you're saying. Sorry about that. The police, the LAPD is infinitely more upset about the swatting, about them looking dumb than they are about oh, any yeah. crime I've ever reported to them. Car theft, assault of me that's on video, they don't care. But somebody wasted their time for like three hours. They're like, oh, we're going to find it. We've got every resource in the department dedicated to this. Like, all right, man. I mean, I don't care. Fuck you, but. As well, we you know that instead of arresting drug dealers, we, we know traditionally the way to get the LAPD's attention is to get them on videotape fucking up <laughs> 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 many such cases. Now that I think about it, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys look dumb. I posted that video of you looking dumb with all your guns out. <laughs> uh, now they want to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, well, the guy in ch the guy in charge asked me. Uh, he's like, "Well, when did you have a sex doll in your studio? Do you um, you uh, you film with the sex doll?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm not banging a sex doll on the internet. I do a comedy show." Just probably goes, "Oh, okay. Well, when on your comedy show did you talk about the sex doll first? I was like, "Whoa, look at the big brain on Brad. You think somebody saw that and has said that's the wife that I shot? You're probably right. I don't know, man. Like two years ago. Go figure it out." <laughs> Stop wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> I also mentioned I hope you promoted your show to all these officers. Uh, hopefully get some more word of mouth out there. Not that you need it. You're doing very well. but I don't want the cops knowing about my show. <laughs> I, <fucking hate> the <laughs> I appreciate you popping in. Where do you think the casino goes from here? I hope they get it together, but people I don't. don't. Like Maddox didn't. Tonka didn't. Yeah, I hope they uh, do a murder suicide on air. That's what I hope, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. If that <laughs> we'll see if that takes place. You're thriving. You're thriving at Cozy. It's fantastic. Cozy is great. Thank you for that. I appreciate. It. I see some people mentioning maybe Dick on Cozy. I don't know. I don't want to put anything out there, but uh, I have. Uh, I have a oh, lot of. Mm. Mm. Maybe I don't know. I got to think about that. Think about it. Think about it. Cozy is growing exponentially. Shit from YouTube. That's true. I was about to say. You're, oh, they they don't monetize your shit, do they? Nah. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't bother just because I get like I've been banned. My first yeah. account was banned from YouTube in like, oh God, I don't know, two thousand six or something. A long, long time ago. So I've just never used it. Yeah, YouTube fucking sucks. But you know who doesn't suck? The Dick Show and Dick Masterson, sir. I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank Bye. you, sir. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.